The Voyager has introduced us to a whole universe that lies beyond our solar system. The spacecraft has been in outer space for more than 45 years now and has traveled billions of miles to get where it is right now. But the data collected by Voyager has made things a little tricky for scientists. In fact, just recently the spacecraft made a shocking discovery after a whole of 35 years and everyone was smitten over it. So make sure to watch this video to the very end to find it all out. There are thousands of mysteries hidden in the dark and hollow corners of space, but we've only been looking for a couple of decades and it might take us centuries or even more time to completely understand how the universe actually works. Till then, we're trying our best to get to know things better by sending spacecraft and telescopes into space. It was almost 45 years ago that two aircrafts were launched into space, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. The results from these spacecraft were so shocking that we still read about them in our textbooks. It all started back in 1977 when NASA thought that they should prioritize space exploration so we could understand our universe better. But fast forward to 2022, we're now thinking about building a fully-fledged colony on Mars. So things really took off from where we started, and that's for sure, as it all started from Voyager and is going strong with the James Webb Telescope. Even though Voyager was launched with the purpose that it will remain functional for only five years, the surprising thing is that both the spacecraft are officially 45 years old now and have been sending data for decades. The scientists that designed the Voyager used a remote control programmer to have better control over the spacecraft because of its massive size. Voyager 2 passed by Uranus back in the 90s and it sent some of the most precise images of the planet that helped scientists better understand its composition and nature. Both the Voyager 1 and 2 were equipped with some of the most advanced instruments, and that's the very reason why as soon as the Voyager entered into interstellar space, it started hearing different sounds. We would like to stop you here to let you know that Voyager is the first man-made object that entered interstellar space, so it's kind of a big deal. Now back to the sounds. They were like whistles, initially, but they kept getting thicker and louder as Voyager continued its travel into interstellar space. It made the scientists concerned and confused in the very beginning because interstellar space is literally a sea of space. These sounds were a huge discovery as scientists never really knew what interstellar space sounded like. But soon, Voyager reached a space where there was hardly any sound. It was the interstellar medium. This medium was very faint and mostly quiet. But even in this medium, Voyager was successful in determining some humming sounds. When scientists got the data, they were stunned and started their research on the matter. Soon, they found out that the constant hum in interstellar medium was because of the gas. However, every once in a while, solar winds cause some stir and result in shock waves that sound a lot more aggressive. But it only happens once in a few years, so Voyager often picks up on those sounds too. Only recently, scientists heard a very shocking and unique hum sound. This sound pretty much confused them as it was nothing like the ones they heard before, so they basically measured the interstellar medium using those shockwaves. It actually helped them better understand the undiscovered part of space, and scientists now believe that there's much more activity in the interstellar medium than they know of. They can now measure interstellar plasma using shockwaves at any given time. They don't have to wait for any major stir in the medium. Even though Voyager 1 and 2 both will continue on their path of discovering space, scientists are now concerned about their own lifespan. According to the astronomers, Voyager's plutonium power source will finally come to an end in the coming few years. It will put an end to a legacy of 45 years, but Voyager isn't ready to give it all up anytime soon, as it's constantly sending data and newest information to scientists. But Voyager uses technology that's around 50 years old. So imagine if the spacecraft had today's technology how it could have revolutionized space with HD images and clear-cut space sounds, a lot like James Webb. However, what Voyager did is also very praiseworthy, as no one expected this spacecraft to last so long. It will still continue to solve more mysteries before getting lost into space, never to be found again. The thing that intrigues the most people is that the Voyager continues to send priceless data our way till date. Apart from this, discovering plasma in space has also been a huge part of Voyager's space mission. 
It was meant to find out more about the lightning in Jupiter's surroundings. Voyager helped us better understand the planets around us and how they behave. Also, scientists have used Voyager for a lot more than just plasma and interstellar medium. They even used the Voyager 2 to move past Uranus, and it was for the very first time that any object made by humans managed to reach even close to Uranus. While passing through Uranus, Voyager 2 discovered 10 moons that we never really knew existed. It also found two new rings and wrote history. Not only this, Voyager 2 also moved past Neptune and found five new moons, four rings and a mysterious dark spot that remains unidentified till date. Moreover, scientists theorized the heliopause for years and talked about it. Some believed that it exists and some argued that it's nothing more than just a theory. Heliopause basically is the boundary between our solar system and interstellar space. So, when Voyager traveled far enough, it finally reached the heliopause, and there were some very evident changes in the environment and overall nature of the space. So, Voyager pretty much confirmed the existence of heliopause, and now scientists are working more on it. The only thing off about Voyager 1 in interstellar medium is that it has started sending pretty confusing data. Its attitude, articular, and controlling systems don't really make sense to the engineers, even though the probe itself is working perfectly. At times, Voyager isn't showing any data about its conditions, and then it starts sending the info automatically. It is a strange behavior for Voyager because it's a remote control machine that doesn't do a lot without proper commands. People are actually intrigued to know the reason why this disturbance is being caused, and are there any signals in the interstellar space that are colliding with Voyager? Some people are even considering this glitch as the biggest discovery in the history of Voyager. A team of scientists and astronomers are working on the probe, and they're trying their best to fix the issue before it becomes an actual problem. They might be updating the software for Voyager if things stay the same. But according to the conspiracy theories, the Voyager has gone too far from the Earth and too close to extraterrestrial life that doesn't want to be found. So, they're disrupting the signals and control systems of the probe. Or, Voyager might also be experiencing a difficulty to adjust because of the constantly harsh environment of the interstellar medium. What are your thoughts on the matter? Tell us in the comments section. Also, make sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, adios from our side.